The Baroque Era Outside of Germany For this video, we are going to just pick up where we left off in the last video, with the Hauteter Flute. The Hauteter Flute and other flutes like it differed from the previous Renaissance flutes that came before it in that the Hauteter Flute had a conical bore, it was in three sections, and had a key for the right hand pinky finger. With the added key, we start to be able to tell the difference between military fifes and concert setting flutes. The flute was also made by several others in France and Europe. It is in the early 18th century we start seeing the names, notably Thomas Lott and Pierre Naust, the flute makers in France. The flutes made in these workshops were made of boxwood, ebony, or ivory, and followed the famous three-piece Autotere flute with a conical bore and a pinky key. Makers of that time really built flutes for flutists of their own town. What we call A equals 440 could have been A equals 395 in one town, while A equals 410 in another. With the new innovations in the instrument, it becomes a much-loved French solo melody instrument rather than just part of an ensemble. The instrument was enjoyed thoroughly by amateurs who would buy and sell music and lessons all over Northern Europe, most of those people being pretty well off for their time. Michel de la Barre had become very well known as a flutist in France and was responsible for raising the performance standards of the flute. In 1702, he added to the flute's repertoire some pieces for the transverse flute with a bass line. In 1707, Jacques Martin Atater writes the first method book for the flute. He talks about the different fingerings for flat and inharmonic tones, the articulation syllables of tu and ru, ornamentation, and more. Articulation and phrasing were very important parts of expression in the entire 18th century. In 1721, the first records of a four-piece flute comes out of the Naust workshop. This would mean there would be a head joint, a left-hand piece, a right-hand piece, and a little foot joint. This change becomes popularized in the 1720s. The decline in court music in France and England rose to new innovations in public performances. In 1725, the French court flutist Anne Danica Philidor started a public concert subscription series during religious fasts, is one example. Playing airs and brunettes also became popular in early 18th century France. Jacques Martin Autotere Michel Pignon de Montclar and Michel Blavet, a flutist prodigy, all wrote these airs and brunette pieces for the flute. Notable flute composers from the 1720s, although not flutists themselves, include Joseph Borin de Beaumortier and Michel Corette. Corette wrote the first French flute concerto, and Beaumortier wrote his two flute duet books in 1724, but also featured the flute in other settings. In Italy, Vivaldi begins to utilize the flute in Venice in 1727 in the opera Orlando Furioso. Two years later, he would go on to write his six flute concertos, Opus 10, which were published in Amsterdam. By the 1720s, Amsterdam and London had become a major source of publishing for many composers, but especially Italian composers. The flute was so popular in Amsterdam that a Dutch translation of Hauteter's method is printed in 1729. By the 1730s and 40s, four-piece flutes with a set of changing middle joints became the norm. It is also during this time that Thomas Lott took over the Naust workshop, where he supplied flutes throughout all of the noble houses of Europe. In 1740, Michel Blavet wrote his flute concerto, 
and at the same time the flute was in its golden age in France, England, and the Netherlands. These were the main events happening in the Baroque era outside German-speaking lands. In our next video, we will be discussing the flourishing culture of the Germanic Baroque, Quants, Telemann, Handel, and more.